Okay, today we're talking Rotax Evo versus non-Evo. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today we're going to take you through some of the differences between the Rotax Max Evo and non-Evo and whether they're worth it or not. Now, a few years ago, Rotax brought out an evolution or an Evo of their super popular Rotax Max engine range. Now these engines revolutionized karting in the sense that all the engines were the same. It's a very even platform. One of the great benefits of owning a Rotax engine is obviously the warranty. They come standard with a six month warranty here in Australia and as far as I know that's the only engine available with a warranty. One of the Rotax's weakest links was the on the non-Evo engine was the exhaust system. Now with the new exhaust that they brought out a few years ago, some of the key points are the exhaust stinger section and the main body of the pipe is, are two separate and it's got a slip joint here and it's held on by some springs. And then the second thing that they did, which I thought was great, they've got this new bracket system where we use some springs to hold it down onto this uh, sort of V-shape rubber stops and then that just sits on the, on the exhaust. So as the cart flexes when you're using it, the, the, the exhaust pipe can sort of move around on the bracket and it stops the exhaust pipes cracking here because it, it doesn't have the tension like it did on the non-Evo exhaust pipe. This was a great addition to the new engines. If you only had to do one of the Evo upgrades, this is the one I recommend the most. The second clever thing that the chaps at the Rotax Max factory came up with was a new battery bracket and wiring harness. So the new battery bracket and harness has a toggle switch here with a little light in it. And also too, it's got a relay built in. And then the ECU is actually here encased in a, in a bracket. And then it's got a rubber sleeve that fits over it in two halves. You can see that here it's, it's hinged at the bottom and there's just a split and it comes around on the ECU and it just takes out a lot of the vibrations from the cart and it stops the, the electronics failing all the time. We did have a few problems when they first came out, the harnesses were breaking and stuff, but most of those problems have been all ironed out now and they're excellent. So another great feature, and the one I like the most because it was a bit of an Achilles heel of the Senior Max engine, is the new power valve assembly. We've got an electronically controlled, what they call the rave cylinder, and that controls the pressure to the uh, power valve so that magically at 7500 rpm the power valve snaps open whereas before it used to creep open a little bit depending on your gear ratio, jetting, throttle position, um, cart setup, all those things had a, a variation on the, the loading on the motor and that would actually make the power valve open and give it sort of the engine of what they call like a, oh my engine's bogging off the corners it really hesitates because as soon as that power valve opens, say if you put these on the wrong way or you know you had it stuck open, no spring, you can really see it on the dyno that the torque drops away somewhere around 30% of your bottom end power when the power valve opens too early. So it's something that if, when it's working at its optimum, it's fantastic. You get a great hit of power down low, then the power valve opens and then it comes onto the pipe, makes a lot of power right through to about 11,500 and like these engines are excellent anyone that hasn't had a go I highly recommend it the Rotax engine it's great fun to drive so with the power valve now operating perfectly because of the electronic controlled valve it's a no-brainer this is a great upgrade and you should do it if you haven't already so the electronics are now mount mounted on the, these uh, brackets with some little rubber isolators this is the first version where the ECU is mounted here at the back of the engine. Now this is mounted in the battery box. And then you've got your, your rave cylinder obviously mounted here and then the coil. If you're liking these videos, please consider subscribing and turning on the notifications. It really means a lot to us. So another thing that came out on the Evo engines is the new style carburetor. Now it's very similar to the outgoing version in the bore diameter, still a 34 millimeter. So it's gonna give you a similar performance. However, they've rejigged all the jetting and floats and, and the, uh, the Venturi to deliver like a more even air fuel ratio right throughout the rev range and it's really suited to these engines that's excellent so basically 
We're setting the jets at 122 to a 118 here in uh, southeast Queensland. It seems to give us the best performance for senior max and even when they're restricted as well. Now if you do go up into the altitude at Warwick here locally, it's 400 meters above sea level, you will have to normally go down one to two main jets. So if you're on a 122 at sea level, you're gonna go down to the 118 main jet in Warwick, or if you go to Toowoomba, you'd go to the 120, because it's about halfway. So other than the colors that came out, the crankcase and the engine are, are almost identical. The new cylinders have been redesigned so they have the same geometry and the amount of ports, but they've been optimized to deliver maximum performance to the best cylinders in the world. And that's come from Rotax. They've done a lot of research in just trying to get a nice, even playing field for their engine platform because they, they want you to be able to go in and buy the same engine that the world champions got and it's an equal playing field. And I think they've done a great job. This week's video was a question from our friend Jacob Jurgensen. And he asked about the difference between the Evo and the non-Evo Evo, Senior Max Rotax engine and whether that is all just hype or there is really a difference. So what I say, Jacob, is you definitely need this engine if you want to race against other Evo engines. If you had a non-Evo, you would be in a bit of trouble because this power valve works every time perfectly. The new cylinders are excellent. Couple that with an exhaust pipe that doesn't crack and it doesn't leak. It's a no-brainer. The Evo is superior to the non-Evo counterpart, in my opinion. Another thing to touch on too is the latest edition of the cylinders have been excellent. So I definitely recommend getting one of those as well. So there you have it. That's the Rotax Max Evo upgrades. I definitely recommend it. Now you guys that have been watching at home, we have set up a Patreon page. So if you'd like to check that out, the link is in the description below. Please turn on your notifications and subscribe to our channel if you like it. Give us a thumbs up, do all that stuff. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram at Power Republic. Or you can go to our fabulous website, www.powerrepublic.com.au and grab yourself a t-shirt or Rotax Max 125 racing engine. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.